Troy, I know the media has been asking you about Horak all week, but I mean, what more can you say about him at this point? <laughs> He's on fire. <laughs> That's for sure. I mean, just real excited for the kid. He's well prepared to play every game. And, you know, we switched line mates tonight. We felt that um, last uh, Saturday when he stepped in for Ben Walter, like uh, he had some chemistry with Barch. And so when we made some changes today in our, our lineup, we felt that, you know, hopefully they had a little magic. And that worked out well for those guys. Uh, we talked about penalties yesterday. Uh, your team was certainly the more disciplined of the two tonight. Uh, you had to be happy with that. Yeah, uh, especially the game, I think, considering the series, I think it's a division rival. Um, you get all those things piled into a game early in the year, and there's still a, probably, from a player's perspective, there's still some emotion from last year, you know, I would think for sure. And then, um, you know, the nature of the two games, and then just how games unfold, you know. Like, obviously, the first period there, if you just viewed us by a shot clock, you would say that we didn't play that well. We don't. We look at the process. We don't worry about stats or things like that. But, you know, I think everything considered that went into that game tonight, like I thought we had better discipline than, than we've had in the last couple of games for sure. Michael Furland uh, makes his pro debut tonight. Uh, what was your read on, uh, on him? Um, I was really happy for that kid. Like, you know, this is a situation where, you know, you get an opportunity for um, – to play at the American League level. This is a kid that's, you know, is a major junior player at 16 years old and has worked hard for four years, and then you turn pro, and then you don't get that chance to play for a while. We're nine games in, and it's his first game, so um, he's made a lot of uh, changes in his life and how he manages his life and how he's doing physically. And, uh, you know, it was, a, it was time to reward Michael, and he deserved all the things that he got tonight, all the ice time he got down the stretch and everything like that. He's... He's been a real good soldier, especially for our strength coach, Mike Thompson. Those two have been hands in, hand in hand back there for about almost a month straight. So I'm real happy for Mike Thompson, who does a lot of work behind the scenes, and I'm real happy for Furlan. So, so when you talk about the changes he's made, it, it's a, it was a fitness type of uh, thing? Can you yeah, it was fitness that? and lifestyle. This is fitness and lifestyle and, and managing your life, um, not only to become a better player, just a better human being so that you're functional within a team sport. We play a fast-paced game and it's a team sport and you, you have to you have to act accordingly in that and so there's a lot of changes that a lot of young players have to make here to figure out this level because let's be let's be honest like up until this point it's a lot about me major junior college it's all about me and when you get to this level you got to be a team guy and not that Michael wasn't like don't get me wrong it's just um, all those things got to come together and it takes a lot of people to you know to help along the way and like I said, Michael Furland and Michael Thompson spent a lot of time together, and I was just happy for Michael Furland. Leland got the start tonight. How do you think he played? I thought Leland played well. Uh, I thought his puck touches were at a minimum behind the net, which I thought was really critical for him. Um, I thought his game in Cleveland, um, he was real active behind the net, and I thought, I thought Leland uh, made a lot of good saves at key times in the game for us. Um, but I felt uh, he was more in control of his game tonight just because I thought he stayed home a little bit more. He didn't wander too far, and I thought that was a, a big, big part of his success. Uh, back to Roman, in a way. Uh, do you feel that that goal he scored with two seconds left was the momentum changer, or did you feel the flow RV starting to switch before that? Mm, well, that's a good question. I, I Obviously, that the timing of that goal with two seconds left was was obviously a big part of this game. But I didn't feel like, you know, we have a theory that we like to always we bend, but we don't break. I mean, that's just our mental attitude. So I, you know, I, I didn't feel even if we went in with that deficit, we were that much behind uh, as, the, as the period wore on. But certainly it, it, gave, uh, it gave us a little bit of lift. And when it's early in the year, sometimes that's all you need. It's a timing issue because that can go the other way. Obviously, on their end of it, you can say, boy, that's not a goal you want to give up. And then, then it comes out in the second period and comes back. So... When you're early in the year, you, you've got to find ways to manage the game really well in the last three minutes of a period. And uh, we were fortunate to get that, and I thought that was a part of the swing. Troy, uh, inserting uh, McKelvey and Furland into the lineup tonight, was that sort of an effort on your part to get a little more toughness out on the ice tonight than last night? Well, not so much toughness. I mean, I, I think toughness could have been a part of it. Obviously, McKelvey was physical and got in a fight there at neutral in the neutral zone. But just more physical gifts that just make us bigger. Um, obviously, putting Quentin Lang back in, 
Um, we felt that was important that we got bigger. Furlan allowed us obviously to get bigger. McKelvey gets us bigger, and then you know if Brady Lamb plays physical, um, that makes us a bigger team. Um, we've got some guys that have some physical gifts, but they don't always play very physical. But we'd hope that you know Lang and Furlan and McKelvey would certainly um, combat their size a little bit more equally, and I think we accomplished that. Last question, guys. Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks to my parents for coming. <laughs>